Hi, today we'll talk about threesome smaller question. So in this question, they will provide us some nums, array of numbers, and a target. And they are expecting find the number of index triplets i, j, k. That satisfy condition that if we add them, all three numbers, that sum should be less than the target. We have to find all those uh, in triplet indexes. So in this question, if we see that that's the question, that's a target two, output is two. It means because there are two triplets, which sum are less than two, minus two o one, minus two o three. So let's understand this question and how this question map with two pointer coding pattern. Let's see. So let's talk about this question. I will take an example and target is suppose seven. They were expecting that we have to find three sum and we have to tell how many number of indexes like triplets we have whose sum is less than our target. Now, when we try to find is does it belongs to two pointer coding pattern, first we will try to sort it. If it is not sorted, we can see they were asking about set of elements from here. And all those set of elements were expected using some constraint, right? So now let's discuss about this example and we can better understand how we can use two pointer encoding pattern i will write this example again now what we will do first it is sorted if it was not sorted we will sort it right that's the first thing we will do if we will put our green pointer here and we will use left index and right index and in this part, we will use two pointer the way we have already discussed about that. Using recursive approach, we will, we will apply the two pointer coding pattern. Now, if we look at this number, so minus one, plus one, and plus five results five, which is greater, which is less than our target, that is seven so for sure this is correct we will keep that number but we can also see that this one that this pointer right one is at the maximum number five and left is at this index which is one now if we have three sum one two and three in which right is pointing the maximum number in this sorted array. So we can conclude that all those numbers which are less than this number, we, we, we can make the combination of that, like minus one, one, and four, three, and two. So all those numbers could be considered so we can come to know that this condition satisfy for our right minus left for all those for all those pointers for all those numbers that uh, some will be true like their sum will be less than our target if one one is if one of them is the maximum from here right and left is pointing here now what we will do in the next step so we will we will can, instead of using all that iteration we will just make a trick and we can conclude that all those sum are considered to be the count so we can consider them the that 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 condition satisfy for all of them now in the next step, what we will do, we will keep our uh, green index in the same place and we will move left index and right will remain here. 
in that case we can also see that this is uh, saying minus 1 plus 2 plus 5 it answers 6 which is again less than target uh, less than 7 which is our target that is true again we will take that um, right minus left so this part 2 we will take that and we will say okay we get the count because that condition satisfied for all of those numbers all of these two numbers also in the next step what we will do we will keep here and uh, left will move further and right will remain here now this condition doesn't satisfy because minus 1 plus 3 plus 5 equals 7 which is not less than 7 our target so it doesn't satisfy in that case the two pointer what we will do we will move green index to the next step here and again we will apply two pointer from here and from here and we will keep on doing that this is the way we will solve this question and we can come to some we can apply two pointer coding pattern let's see how we can code this again we will use the same template where we will say uh, nums zip with index and we will fold left and we will provide our uh, count which we have to use and then we will apply the case and at that level we will use two pointer a recursive solution and why we use let, let's put why we use recursive solution instead of fold left for them so whenever some early termination whenever there is some early termination is expected in uh, some recursive call some in, in some uh, solution we should use recursion instead of using fold left because fold left will go for all of those elements it, because it goes for all elements and recursion where we can we were expecting some early termination let's see we go to the code all right so now let's see how we can solve this using two pointer coding pattern first thing we will sort it second we we already know that they are expecting some set of three uh triplets they are looking for triplets from indexes whose sum is less than our target which is provided the third thing that was actually the constraint I talk about in second step. Now, let's see how we can apply that. So the first thing we will try to, we will we will sort it using sorting dot quick sort nums, and we will import import scala dot util dot sorting. In the next step, what we will do, we already know that we will go and zip with index dot full left and here we will say initial count is zero we know that there is no triplet whose sum is less than target now what we will say case this is our count what we are looking for and num and index which is the green pointer and here we will say go we will provide that number which is at green index and we will say i plus one which is left we will say nums length minus one which is right index and here is our count which is working as an accumulator and here in this function we will say def go and we already know that this is num and this is left this is right and uh, this is our count which we have to calculate in our each iteration and here we come to our solution so first we will say if left greater than equal to right they should not cross in that case if it cross we terminate it's a base condition 
it is our base condition, right? And in the else part, we will do our calculation. First, we will say wall sum. That sum should be n plus nums left plus nums right. Now, in this condition, we will say if sum is less than target. This is what we were expecting. We found some solution. So we will say go with num uh, with our n, the same, and we will say left should move forward. But we already talked about that, that this condition will satisfy for all numbers for the range, which is uh, right minus left. So we will say count, which is from the previous one, and we will say right minus left. So this condition satisfied for all the number. In that case, we are not going to iterate for them. Else, we will say, go for, use the same num, and left will remain same, right will move one step back, and here is our count. And that's it. Let's run the code. Oh, there is some problem. I, oh, I never provide write index here. Now, if I will run this, it's work fine. All right, really thanks.